Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to share 10 ways to get you to financial freedom. If you implement these 10 points or 10 hints and tips, it would change your life and take you to the next level. So I really, really do hope you wait until the end. So you've written them all down and go out there and do it. Right? Just Don't just write them down or listen to it and you don't do it. Go out there and implement it. I guarantee you success. Let's get to it. Number one, you need to know your position. You need to know where you are financially right how much money you are making right how much money you anticipated to to uh, make and you know where you are because it's like a sat nav okay the sat nav can only take you from point a to point b if the sat nav pin point where you are first right the sat nav pin point where where you are before it takes you to wherever you want to go and again if you've got a ferrari car you don't know where you're going you get to nowhere no matter how many speed or how much speed that ferrari have so you need to know where you are you need to pinpoint that very important because so many people there going into properties or doing so many stuff, they don't even know where they are financially, morally, emotionally, and physically. You need to know where you are, especially financially, for you to be able to take on the journey. Because when you know you're able to draw a roadmap to take you from point A to point B. So very important for you to know your position. And then what you then do, number two, is to set goals. I've been talking about goals recently in so many, so many of my videos. I cannot emphasize how important it is. Set goals, set gigantic goals. Goals are the driving force. They are the X factors, basically, to actually to be able to get you to where you want to go. And again, put that in with an emotion, right? Emotions that can make you want to do things every single day. Because what happens, especially start your property journey and you've not been closing deals, right? You get emotions, right? You get, if you haven't got the emotion, you will give up. You end up saying, oh, this is not for you or probably it's not the right time to do it. But if you've got that reason why you're doing what you're doing, you've hacked that, put that in, as, in, an, in, in an emotion kind of thing, that then would get you to where you want to go. Number three, then you hack that. You know, when you've got the emotion and you back that up with why, that then gets you to literally pumped up wanting to do these things every single day because you get boring sometimes, okay? Especially when you're searching for so many deals and nothing is, is happening. But if you know your why, you put that in with your, with your emotion, looking at your goals up there, you would absolutely kill it. Number four, find out how much you need to live a basic life right look at your expenses find out how much you need you may not need you be, you may be surprised how much money you need to actually live on it might not be a lot of money and anyways but you need to know how much money you need to live on right once you know how much money you need to live on number five then you track and monitor and review your expenses very important you need to track and review and monitor your expenses right you need to look at the expenses lots of people 90 percent of the population in the uk don't know how much they spend every single month so you need to know how much you're spending how you're spending it what you're spending it which is very important okay if you're spending it in buying trainers going on holiday or maybe um, uh, spending it in like branded items so if it's not adding value to you you need to start looking at that look at the future see yourself understand what you want to achieve in the future that way that you'll be able to track review and monitor your um, expenses so there's no point buying expensive things that don't add value to your life number six view money positively i cannot emphasize how important this is every single penny counts okay there are some supermarkets their their, their profit margin are three pence right some of us throw throw pen, pennies away Oh, it doesn't add any value, throw it away. You need to stop doing that if you're one of those who do it. You need to take every penny very important. You need to see the view, you need to view money positively. Don't see rich people, successful people, and you start bitching about them, talking bad thing about them, saying they may have robbed someone or they may have done a dodgy deal for them to make that money. No, see them, be an, let them be an inspiration to you to allow you to actually see their point of view and value money. All the people I see that are successful are people that value money. They value every single penny, okay? Every single penny they value. So if you don't value the money, it will not stay with you, right? All the people that value money, the money end up staying with them for a very, very long time because it doesn't go out easily. So you need to value it to ensure you don't just spend it or you stop throwing pennies away, thinking it doesn't add any value to you. I guarantee you, if you store those pennies, they will they would accumulate and becomes hundreds of pounds or thousands of pounds um, anyway. So I'll give you an example now. You see this? This is where we store our pennies, okay? Can you hear that? Absolutely amazing. So even one pound, one pence, 
two pens we put it in here you know what what we do we will put it in there when it get filled we're going to break it we go to the bank and actually uh, and actually get it weighed and we get that as cash so you need to value money no matter how much money that 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 is you need to value it and ensure you could invest it wisely and number seven you need to pay yourself first pay yourself first before any of the expenses goes out know your income know your expenses find a way to squeeze your expenses reduce them and once you've got your salary if you're working pay yourself first okay i cannot emphasize how important, be, how important it is what i mean by pay yourself first put aside how much money you want to save and once you've received your salary you take that money straight away and put it into that savings account and good point here when you're saving when you're paying yourself first get an account right once you've got the account destroy the card don't have an app for it all you need to have basically is a direct standing order from account where you're receiving your your salary and to the account where you're saving and don't look at it right don't go out there looking at it. even if it rains it floods whatever happens don't touch that money okay save it save it and save it and save it because that's what's going to help you which then drives me to the eighth point which is save right so if you pay yourself first use that money to save it save that money in that account i've just told you don't go out there spend it right no matter what happens save it. especially if you have a vision and you have a drive and you have a mission that would help you save that money and to never ever ever touch it so whatever you save save it until it becomes lots of money then you can see that grow okay number nine pay off your bad debt right bad debts are very 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 bad basically they are like cancer okay they will kill you instantly or gradually so what you do if you have any bad debt make sure you pay it right if you don't pay that debt it becomes a gigantic ball it's got a snowball effect right especially if you're using credit card debt absolutely crazy to um, use credit card as a debt so what is bad debt first of all bad debt is anything you invest you buy that doesn't add value or brings you reoccurring income or passive income it's a bad debt example of a bad debt number one would be a trainer as you've bought if you use a credit card to buy a trainer that doesn't bring any money back to you it's a bad debt right using your credit card to go on holiday or borrowing money to go on holiday it's a bad debt because once you've done your holiday it's done it's not bringing you any money back you'd have to be paying that every single day or it could be using credit card to buy friends and family present again it's a bad debt right if you've got those i'm not blaming you because you may not know what you were doing then so your first first priority is to pay those debts out pay it out make sure you are debt free and also ensure you do not take any more bad debts right especially if if, if they are credit card debts make sure you pay them as soon as possible number 10 is one of the most important if not the most important okay once you've paid yourself first you've saved the money you need to create additional income right what do i mean by additional income you need to use the money you've already saved and invest it you could invest in buying a property for example that property would bring you a passive income net cash flow every single month meaning you don't have to work to make that money right suppose you saved up to 25000 pounds or let's say 80000 pounds you go up there get yourself an 80000 pounds house and again it's very realistic you can get this in south wales north wales or the north of england okay you get an 80000 pounds property do it up nicely and guess what you rent that property out to a family or to whoever your um, target market is they, this, those people would pay you your rent every single month and you make in average about 300 pounds net profit every single month again from 20,000 pounds investment you've got 300 pounds coming into your account every single day that you don't have to work for so meaning you you're not going to trade your time for money right you've done the investment once then you get real reoccurring income and then you you continue saving paying yourself for it. So you put it all together again you go out there and buy more investment properties so again this is how you create wealth this is how you generate income and these are the 10 ways that can get you to financial freedom in no time but one thing i need to warn you on it has to be consistent you have to be perseverance you have to commit to it and you need to make sure you do it every single time okay i really hope this
this video has been helpful. It's, if it has been helpful and you've learned from it, share it to friends and family so they can also have the opportunity to learn. If you like this video or any of my videos, hit the like button below, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more of these videos. I look forward to sharing the next video. Thank you for listening.